What is your favorite memory from last season? What sticks out to you the most? I'd say my favorite memory was uh, was probably probably you know in that locker room after that after the UConn win, knowing we'd won the East, knowing we were going to go play for the conference championship, and just seeing sort of that jubilation with with the kids. Beating Penn State last year had to mean quite a bit to you for more reasons than one. What was that moment like? That's probably something you'll remember forever. Well, you know, I, I for me, I was so happy for those kids because it was such a historic accomplishment. And I was really happy for our fans. I knew, I knew how many people that meant a lot to. And there were you know, people crying in the stands. And it, it was, for me, that was really exciting you know, for those people. They've been so loyal to us. To be, to be able as a team to give something back to them was great. How does that win, I guess, change either the perception or just kind of how your football program is viewed in the state of Pennsylvania? Well, I think, you know, it changes it a lot. You know, I think, uh, you know, people, it was a good story. We were kind of a cute little team. Oh, they're doing a nice job. They go to a bowl. And, but then to go out there and play with college football elite, you know, Penn State's a great program, a historic program. And for us to go out there and, you know, play at that level uh, against them, I think it really opened a lot of eyes and told people, hey, this is a legitimate program here in the state of Pennsylvania. After a 7-0 start, making it to the championship game, I mean, you guys went through so many highs last year. It didn't feel like the right ending for you, probably. <laughs> Does that give your guys just a chip on their shoulder this season that they need to finish it off the way that maybe last season started? Well, I mean, I hope so. I know it does for me. Uh, and uh, it's great to get there, and that, that was one of our goals. But, you know, we weren't able to finish. And so for us, there's some unfinished business out there. And, uh, you, you know, you don't get there by talking about it or wishing for it. You know, we have to get right back to work and try to build a good team. You guys seem to have built a pretty good foundation here the, the past couple of years, just establishing yourself as that tough football team. Uh, different players to some extent, but is that going to be the same team we see this year? Yeah, I mean, I think that's who we are. You know, I mean, at, at the end of the day, you always, you know, it, it might be a little bit different play, might different style here and there, but at the end of the day, you know, we're a tough, hardworking, competitive group, and uh, that that's that's never going to change. Is there a moment for you on game day that you just kind of take it all in <laughs> after the game's over? <laughs> Even when, you know, it might be a minute left and we're winning by four touchdowns, I'm still nervous until the game's over. So it's kind of after the game, after I talk to the team, I go back to my little area and I kind of take a breath and, and you, know, you know, reflect on what happened, good or bad, and, and get ready to move forward. Philadelphia is obviously, a, it's, an important, it's an important city to you. What's your favorite thing about living there, coaching there, and just being a part of Philadelphia? Oh, the people. I mean, the people are, are awesome. Uh, in every neighborhood, in every part of town, you meet great, great, real people, and that's why you know I love living there. What does it mean to you when a player keeps in touch with you, and those relationships live on past football? Well, that, that's our job, I and mean, that's that's why I do it. We do it, you know, to, not just not for the wins and losses, but to, to to build great men. And so, even guys that I've dismissed from the team, I mean, I keep in contact with, and um, you know that that's why we do it. It's it's not even a thought, you know. It's just you know who we as coaches are.